video editing, it's not for everyone. It took me about six years to be where I am today. And throughout all these years, I learned so many techniques, some useful, some not. And today I want to share my favorites with you. All of the techniques that we're covering today can be done in any editing software, but because DaVinci is my software of choice, we're gonna follow through in DaVinci. Or you can use this in Premiere, Final Cut, or Sony Vega, if anyone actually uses that. So I also wanna highlight that, as I said before, it took me about six years to get where I am today. So I kinda had to figure things out and watch some tutorials and then figure myself out, but there is so much information right now on the internet, so I hope you can take some of these tips and techniques and hacks and finish your edits at least 10 times faster. These are not in any specific order, so let's start right off with the first one, which is organization. I can't stress this enough. If you're not organized as a video editor, it's not going to save you any time. Actually, you're going to edit 10 times slower. So what I recommend doing is always organize your footage, especially if it's a bigger project. I usually organize my footage within the camera and then within the day. So let's say I have drone and then I have day one, location, etc. Or I have a Sony A7S III and then I have the day, I have this particular location, the shooting. I try and divide my footage into as many subfolder as I can just for ease. So if I need to pull any particular footage at any time during the edit, I know exactly what folder it is and I know exactly where it is. This is one thing that is going to take you a lot of time and it's very annoying to do, I find. At least for me, I don't like to do it. But once I do it, I then go through every single clip and mark in and out for the best part of the clips. And the reason I do that is because, first of all, when you actually then go into the editing and then you drop your footage into the timeline, it's just gonna be super fast to see the best parts of the footage. But also, let's say you wanna change something in your edit after you've finished it, and you want to pull a specific clip onto a specific part of your timeline, you already have the in and out. So you just take it, drop it in the timeline, and you're done. It is very time consuming, but this saves you a lot of time especially if it's a longer and a bigger edit. Next one up, we got shortcuts. These are game changing. I can't believe some people do not use shortcuts. To me, it's crazy. And honestly, as soon as I switched to DaVinci, I was a bit effy just because I didn't know how long it's gonna take me to learn all the new shortcuts. But then I realized that if you go into the settings and the preferences, you can actually set your shortcuts to be exactly the same as Premiere Pro ones, which is what I used before, which is great. You can also choose Final Cut if you're coming from Final Cut. And then I made a few changes just to match exactly my liking. And I'll actually leave a link below if you want to download my specific shortcuts that I use. It's a very simple change that I made to the Premiere Pro shortcuts. And you can just install this into DaVinci and use my shortcuts. It's for free. Link is below. When learning a new software, shortcuts are extremely hard, to be honest, to remember and just trying to force yourself within the first few weeks to use the shortcuts as much as you can. And as soon as your brain is clicking, then everything is gonna be so much faster and so much easier. Can be very challenging at the start, but force yourself to use the shortcuts cause it will make a ton of difference in the long run. The next one is a bit more focused on DaVinci because it's about color grading and how to copy and paste grades. If you're not familiar with DaVinci, the way you edit is pretty much you make nodes and then you add to different nodes, different grades, different color, different changes to the images. So sometimes I have for just one image, I have five to 10 nodes. For example, I just wanna copy the same grade onto a different image and then I wanna change a few things. So what do you do? You just select them all, Command C, Command V, copy paste into the next image and then you just adjust the primaries and the lot and intensity of everything the mask and whatever you can also do this in any other softwares but it's a bit different like in premiere pro i would usually add an adjustment layer with the lot on top of all the footage what i would do i'll just color correct the first clip and then i think it's like right clip copy and then you just select everything else and paste it and then you can go clip by clip adjusting the exposure or the mask or whatever that is these copy and pasting grades, to be honest, especially for a smaller project with quick turnaround, like these YouTube videos, I just color grade the first thing that I shot and then I copy and paste it and then I adjust everything along the way. And this speeds up my editing process a ton. Last but not least are presets and templates. 
this now might seem a sponsored video but it's actually not i have been using motion array for all my templates my presets motion graphics anything you see on these videos any client project that i pretty much ever made i've been using their services now for over four years and i've been paying for the services there is a link below which is an affiliate link which i will gain a small commission from so it's up to you if you want to click on that or not but if you do want to try it out the link is down below motion array have amazing presets templates motion graphics and to be honest it is probably my favorite service out there because they're so complete and they just have these presets and plugins for absolutely any editing software which is great and these presets will just help you make your project more professional make your edits faster because you don't have to keyframe all the graphics and you don't have to find a template that you like you can just go on motion array find something that you like and then use it in your videos so i hope any of these tips will speed up your workflow and if you did learn something it would mean the world to me if you did like and subscribe down below leave a comment and uh stick around for the next videos i do make weekly videos here on youtube about tech about tutorials about bali about culture so i try to mix all together and i hope you guys enjoy the ride so i'll see you guys in the next video next week see you soon.